On this Saturday of the first week of Lent, I invite you to journey with me through the readings of today. A theme of reflection today is love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, a call to be like God. The season of Lent is a special season of repentance, renewal, and a conscious pursuit of spiritual growth and perfection. Put differently, the season of Lent is a time when we amplify our spiritual race towards holiness and perfection. Be that as it may, the Lenten season is not a time when we strive to avoid sin, only to go back to it after Easter. A spiritual journey through Lent should ordinarily remold us into becoming firstly better human beings and ultimately better Christians in the real sense of it. So that at Easter, we will rise with Christ to a higher level of spirituality. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the word of God for today is taken from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 26, verses 16 to 19, and the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 48, respectively, challenges us to please God and to be like Him. While the author of the book of Deuteronomy will enjoin us to obey the commandments of God, without reservations. Jesus in the Gospel reading of today will urge us to be perfect as God is perfect. Hence, he tells us to journey towards perfection by loving our neighbors. For Jesus, love is the fulfillment of the entire commandment of God. To love is to obey God. Confer Matthew chapter 40, verses 37 to 40, Romans chapter 13, verses 8 to 10, and Galatians chapter 5, verse 14. However, my dear people of God, the kind of love that Jesus wants us to demonstrate as God's children is not in tandem with the teaching of the Pharisees and scribes in particular who misinterpreted and misrepresented the Old Testament mosaic teaching on the law of love, which for them included hatred for enemies. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 is very clear on the command to love your neighbor and shun vengeance. Confer Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. The law did not say anything about hating your enemies. As a matter of fact, many Old Testament texts recommend that we show love even to enemies. Confer Exodus chapter 23, verse 4 to 5. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 21. Little wonder Jesus enjoined his followers to stick to the law of God and not emulate the pseudo-righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Confirm Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 to 20. The kind of love that Jesus wants us to express is holistically godly and unusual. It is one that is different from the standard of this world it is a kind of love that is ultimately demanding and truly difficult to express. It is a kind of love that truly demonstrates 
that God is our Father and we are his children, irrespective of our differences. It is a love that repels vengeance. As humans, therefore, the world has taught us to love and cherish those who do good to us and to avoid or even hate our adversaries. But Jesus is telling us today to go beyond the standard of the world. He's reminding us today that we are in the world and not of the world. Confer John chapter 17 verses 14 to 15. Thus, we must not allow ourselves to remain at the level of the world. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Is a final stand of God on this, despite how difficult or impossible it may appear. So, as we journey on in this season of Lent, my dear brothers and sisters, let us beg God to deepen our love for each other. Let us beg him to help us to be merciful to those who offend us and to constantly pray for the repentance of those who persecute us. Bearing in mind that we too cannot survive outside of the mercy of God, which is only given to the merciful. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to be like you. Help us to love like you. Help us to forgive like you. Amen.